heading throughout the afternoon. It's going to be a partly sunny day, but cloud cover does increase during the late afternoon. It's going to be a cloudy evening and then overnight there is going to be a chance for a few passing showers, mainly north of Interstate 20. That chance for rain will continue through the night and then by around daybreak tomorrow, rain chances do end. A cold front will race through and dry us out and, and, and uh, the cloud cover does decrease quickly behind that front. The afternoon is going to be sunny, windy and pretty mild. Today for those highs, mid 60s, so a couple of degrees above average. The winds do turn breezy during the late morning. It's going to be a breezy afternoon. Then overnight, it's going to be windy. Winds increase for the overnight hours. They increase even more during the day tomorrow. Saturday is going to be very windy. Wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. A high wind watch will be in effect for King County from 6 a.m. tomorrow through 4 p.m. during the afternoon because wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour in the northern big country. Relative humidity tomorrow very dry, so the combination of that dry air and that wind will make fire weather an issue tomorrow. Today, 63 and partly sunny overnight. It does stay mild. May see that shower. It will be a windy overnight. Brownwood today, 64 and a little bit breezy, so we're all going to be a nice afternoon overnight. Cloud cover does increase down near 51 with a very small chance for a passing shower. And here's that seven day forecast tomorrow. Very windy, dry. That will make fire weather a concern. May even see some blowing dust cooling down a bit Sunday, warming up from there. Mid 70s Wednesday and then a cold front cooling us down for Thursday. Forecast stays dry.